Hi, this is Jeffrey Davis at Speak Clear Communications. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I recently had a client ask me what one of my favorite TED Talks was, and uh, I mentioned this talk that I'm about to analyze for you right now. It's called 404, The Story of a Page Not Found. It's a wonderful example of a, <clears throat> a short lightning talk that was given a few years back at uh, a TED conference, and uh, I think it's a great example of a TED speech, I think. Um, it's a great example of speech making in general, and I'd like to break it down for you now. So let's do that, okay? So what I want to try to do is tell a quick story about a 404 page and a lesson that was learned as a result of it. So <clears throat> one thing he does really well just at the beginning of the speech, he tells you what he's going to talk about. <laughs> How many times have you gone to speeches been halfway through it and you're not really exactly sure what the speech is about. Um, it's important to remember that uh, any good speech generally is about telling them what you're going to tell them, tell them, and then tell them what you told them. Now, there are exceptions to that. There are times where you just need to kind of get in there with your story right up front and uh, make sure that you, you hook them at the, at the beginning of the speech. That's important too, um, but generally it's good to have that context at the beginning of the speech so that people know where they're going. But to start, it probably helps to have an understanding of what a 404 page actually is. The 404 page is that. It's that broken experience on the web. It's effectively the default yeah, page great. when you ask a website slide, really for simple. something and it can't find it. And it serves you the 404 page. It's inherently a feeling of being broken when you go through it. And I, I, I just want you to think a little bit about, remember for yourself, it's annoying, right, when you hit this thing. Because it's the feeling of a broken relationship. And that's where it's actually also interesting to think about where does 404 come from? It's from a family of errors, actually, a whole set of relationship errors, which when I started digging into them, it, it, it looks almost like a checklist for a, <laughs> a, a sex therapist or a couple's counselor. <laughs> you sort of get down there to the Excuse bottom me. and things get really dicey. <laughs> right, um, so, you know, great but, use of humor here. So he started off with his preview telling you what he's going to talk about, four or four pages. Then he gives you a couple of examples as he moves into the discussion section of the speech. Um, and, you know, and then he, he lands these this great joke right here. It's always good to use humor, especially in the meaty discussion section of your speech. So four, let's see what's four, Yes. Uh, uh, but these things are everywhere. They're on sites big. They're on sites small. This is a, a global experience. What a 404 page tells you is that you fell through the cracks. And that's not a good experience when you're used to experiences like this, right? You can get on your Connect and you can have unicorns dance. Great contrast here. So um, within any good speech, there's contrast and comparisons. As we move into this discussion section of the speech, the main body of the speech, that's 60 to 70 percent of the speech where you're making your main points arranged logically with supporting data like contrast comparisons examples quotes stories the most important part of any speech um, it's important to retain the audience's interest and to entertain a bit and he does that well here um, by using a great slide keep in mind that 80 to 90 percent of the what the brain processes is visual so having really dynamic slides is important and he contrasts these two 404 pages really well. Um, it's a really nice contrast that adds some interest to his, his thesis. Dancing and things, you know, rainbows spraying out of your mobile phone. A 404 page is not what you're looking for. You get that, and it's like a slap in the face. I, I was just trying to think about how a 404 felt, and it would be like if you, if you went to Starbucks, and there's the guy behind the counter, and all, you're over there, and you, there's no skim milk, and you say, hey, could you, could you bring the skim milk? And they walk out from behind the counter, and they got no pants on, and you're like, oh, I didn't want to see that. That's, that's the 404 feeling. Okay, so great joke, and it's a great analogy, right? It's a great metaphor. And using metaphor within your discussion section as well is really powerful. And, um, you know, to use it in a humorous way is great. Anytime you can get the audience laughing, that's a good thing. <laughs> I mean, I've heard about that. So, um, <laughs> w w where this comes into play and why this is important is I, I head up a technology incubator. We had eight startups sitting around there, and those startups are focused on what they are. I think it's important to notice here that 
his speech, his TED talk is not about his startup. It's not about his incubator because it's not really a time, you know, it's not the time when you're speaking in front of TED or at a TED conference to um, to plug your products. It's the time to make a great speech, to make an impact and have a really important thesis with your speech. But he does manage to weave in um, the information that he has a company, that he has an incubator without going for the hard sell. So he's able to subtly plug his products um, without losing the main focus of the speech. Not what they're not. Until one day, Athlepath, which is a website that focuses on services for extreme athletes, found this video. Yeah, You're just, no, he's, he's not okay. All right, they took, okay. That, they took that video and they embedded it in their 404 page and there was, it was like a light bulb went off for everybody in the place because finally there was a page that actually felt like what it felt like to hit a 404. Great analogy, great example. And he's got the video there, um, great use of video. And uh, again, he's not, you know, in a dry way, just, describing what it feels like to hit the 404 page endlessly with words he's ha he has examples and the examples are, are humorous and entertaining okay let's keep going <laughs> so this turned into a contest daily path that offers inspiration More put inspiration examples. on their 404 page Stayhound, which helps you find pet sitters through your social network, commiserated with your pet, right? They, each one of them found this. It turned into a 24-hour contest at 4.04 the next day. We gave out $404 in cash, and what they learned was that those little things done right actually matter, and that well-designed moments can build brands. So here, what he does is he weaves in his thesis. He has it on a slide, and... Uh, he calls our attention to it. So in the discussion section, you want to have your main points building logically arranged, um, composed with added interests like comparisons, contrasts, and analogy. Those are the three things that he's using really well in the speech, analogy, comparison, and contrast. But he makes sure to hang them all on the cloth line of his thesis. And this is th his thesis, little things done right matter right so any good speech is really about one thing and as the speech moves forward it should whittle down and begin to focus on that thing and as we see the speech progress we're gonna see that um, he does just that he focuses the speech more and more on his thesis in the back half so you take a look out in the real world and you can the fun thing is you can actually hack these yourself you can type in an URL and put in 404 and these will these will pop this is one that commiserates with you this is one that blames you. This is one that I loved. It, 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 it said, this is an error page, but what if this error page was also an opportunity, right? So it was a moment in time where all of these startups had to sit and think and got really excited about what they could be because back to the whole relationship issue, what they figured out through this exercise was that a simple mistake can tell me what you're not or it can remind me of why I should love you. Thank you. And that's it, you know, short and sweet. But it's really excellent, right? You really get the points in an entertaining way. And notice, again, that he lands on his simple thesis, right? Small things matter, you know? Um, a 404 page can be an error or it can be an opportunity, depending on your creativity, right? So, and again, the second half, he's whittling down, whittling down, whittling down, and ending on that, that, final, uh, that final poem. Point, and the whole speech is really revolved around that point.